Good afternoon, everyone. This is Greg with the National Weather Service in Spokane. It's Monday, January 22nd. This is the uh, weekly weather briefing from the National Weather Service, and we'll go ahead and get started with this week. As far as the weather for this week goes, we're looking for uh, a significant weather system moving in during the day Tuesday and persisting into Wednesday. This will be a slow-moving front with a lot of moisture associated with it. This uh, storm will produce heavy mountain snows and will also have the potential for lowland snow changing to rain and will highlight some of the areas of concern in a couple of uh, slides coming up. Thursday into Friday we'll see a bit of a break. We'll still see some snow showers in the area but those will mainly be confined to the mountains as far as any accumulations are concerned. And then another moisture laden frontal system is on track to come in over the weekend with Saturday and Sunday looking to be quite active with the potential for more heavy mountain snow accumulations and a possibility of some lowland accumulations as well. And uh, we may see uh, some of our rivers start to respond by then with the uh, slug of moisture coming in for the weekend. Here is our preliminary forecast for Tuesday into Wednesday. Uh, this is the snow forecast here. And we're looking for a lot of accumulation in the mountains uh, with the uh, Cascades especially hard hit with this snowstorm with uh, accumulations of uh, 10 or more inches for places like Plain, uh, just above Leavenworth there and into the Metau Valley. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about some of these accumulations in the northern valleys here in a couple of slides upcoming because those are going to be particularly tricky. As far as the winter storm timeline goes, uh, this timeline starts on Tuesday and works into Thursday. We're looking for tu uh, on Tuesday for snow to develop in the morning in central Washington and spread eastward through the day. By late in the day, we should see some uh, snow moving into northeast Washington and far north Idaho. Uh, for a lot of us in the lowlands, in the Columbia Basin, in the Spokane area, and over the Palouse, most of this precipitation is going to fall in the form of rain. Uh, by Tuesday night, uh, this looks like it could be some of our most active weather uh, during the storm system with the most significant accumulations occurring in our northern valleys and along the east slopes of the Cascades. By the time we move into Wednesday, uh, snow levels should be increasing with uh, less impact in our lowland areas. Uh, but we will see the perpetuation of some heavy snow accumulations in the mountains all the way through Wednesday and into Wednesday night. Things start to uh, wind down by the time we get into uh, Thursday, uh, but Thursday will be cooler uh, with some light snow continuing in the mountains. Here's a little bit more detail for central Washington. This is along the east slopes of the Cascades. Uh, we have a, a very high confidence that uh, heavy snow will uh, occur uh, along Highway 2 from Leavenworth to Stevens Pass. We're also pretty confident that uh, places like Winthrop, uh, Mazama, and Twisp will see heavy snow along the Highway 220 corridor as well. Uh, when we get into the lower elevations, uh, places like Highway 2 over the Waterville Plateau and along the Highway 97 corridor, our, our forecast confidence goes down to the moderate to low category just because we're not sure whether we're going to see snow for long enough before uh, precipitation changes to rain. So if you are looking to travel in those areas, um, continue to monitor the forecast and the road conditions to uh, see what kind of impact we have in that Tuesday and Wednesday time frame. Moving over to northeast Washington and the northern Idaho panhandle, uh, we're looking at Heavy accumulations in the mountains, but the snow levels will really be tricky uh, for this portion of uh, the inland northwest. Uh, we have high confidence that uh, Highway 20 at Sherman Pass will remain snow for the majority of the system, and they'll uh, see some significant accumulations, probably over a foot. Uh, but by the time we get into the lower elevations, uh, most of I-90 uh, will be mainly wet through this period. But Lookout Pass at an elevation of around 4,700 feet will likely see some uh, significant accumulations periodically in the Tuesday and Wednesday time frame. 
Uh, our forecast confidence is quite low for these storm amounts on the graphic for places like Sandpoint, uh, Bonners Ferry, Colville, and Kettle Falls. Uh, this afternoon we have temperatures in the mid to upper 30s in these areas, and uh, we're going to have to see uh, snow develop tomorrow during the day and persist into tomorrow night for these accumulations to pan out. Uh, so stay tuned, uh, low confidence for those lowland areas there. Uh, not only will this uh, system produce a good amount of mountain snow, but we're looking for a lot of lowland rain to occur. Uh, this graphic here is a 48-hour rain and melted snow equivalent graphic. So uh, for places in uh, the Columbia Basin, the Spokane area, down to Pullman and Lewiston, <coughs> almost all of this precipitation is going to fall in the form of rain. And uh, with rain amounts here of a uh, half inch to more than an inch of precipitation, we will be looking at the potential for some impacts once again with this storm system coming in. We may see some uh, rock slides and mud slides in certain areas. Uh, these will mainly be in our southern zones uh, where we don't have a lot of snow to absorb that precipitation coming in. Uh, snow, snow falling first with rain coming in on top of it uh, could cause a mess for some of our uh, northern valleys, uh, say around uh, Deer Park and uh, Springdale and places south of uh, Sandpoint could see some uh, snow with rain on top of it causing poor drainage, uh, slushy mess type situations. So that will also be a, a, a situation <coughs> to keep tabs on as we move into uh, Wednesday and into Wednesday night. For Saturday and Sunday, we don't have a lot of fancy graphics here. That uh, forecast is still several days out. Uh, but it does look like we'll see another slug or several bands of precipitation producing impacts for mountain travel uh, with several rounds of precipitation through the week. Uh, we may see the potential for some elevated avalanche danger in the Cascades and around uh, Lookout and Mullen Pass in the Idaho Panhandle too. Uh, lowland snow and rain uh, could bring some river rises uh, to southeast Washington, namely along the Palouse River and possibly the Paradise Creek uh, could respond uh, over the weekend with uh, rainfall. And uh, we may see some more lowland snow accumulations in the valleys near the Canadian border and along the east slopes of the Cascades this weekend. Here is an updated uh, snow graphic. These, this, these are the current snow water equivalent percentages of normal. We often show these through the late winter and into the spring. And we see that with the active weather we've had over the last couple of weeks, these numbers continue to ratchet upward uh, slowly with uh, over 100 percent of uh, snow water equivalent for much of the uh, Idaho panhandle, uh, north central Washington, and into the north northern east slopes of the Cascades. It is a marked uh, change as you get further south with uh, much less snow water equivalent in the mountains of Oregon and southern Idaho and uh, California is even in a worse situation uh, than what we see in Oregon. So here's the 8 to 14 day outlook. Uh, this is valid January 30th through February 5th. Uh, the Climate Prediction Center is calling for below average temperatures during this time frame. Uh, with the progressive flow that we're expecting, even if we are below average, I wouldn't expect it to be very much below average. So this graphic on the left may be a little bit skewed uh, to the blues there, uh, blue coloring. And as we move into the precipitation forecast, it's going to be active through this weekend and early, early next week. But by the time we move into the middle to latter part of the week, there is some potential that we could see a little bit of a drying with uh, precipitation near average to slightly above average as we move towards uh, North Idaho and the Montana area. So that'll end our briefing for the week. Appreciate you tuning in.